They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. Hey y'all, welcome back to another estrogen release. My name is Asia. I always feel like I have a condescending tone. <laughs> um, I realize that I don't introduce myself in my videos. I just kind of like hit you guys with the intro and just start everything. I'm gonna try my best to say my name in front of every video so you guys know me and I want you guys to feel welcome. I want you to feel like, you know, you're getting a new experience. But um, today I am coming at you guys with a new segment. Right now, you guys know that we're all stuck in the house due to the coronavirus. And for me personally, I enjoy staying at home. I have no problem staying at home. I don't feel locked up. I don't feel restricted or anything. Um, however, it has taken a toll on my appearance. I've been looking like a hobo for the last few weeks. And I enjoy that lifestyle. Ain't no shame in my game. I've been just feeling a little too crusty lately, and so I decided that I'm gonna throw on some makeup. Also need to get some videos done because I need content. So I was just like, this is the perfect time, the perfect day to just knock all this stuff out. I really wanna do like a regular, regular natural look, but I feel like I'm gonna enhance it a little bit more. I don't know how I'm gonna enhance it, but I'm gonna try my best. Hopefully you guys can hear me. So this is just gonna be a little chit chat, you know? See what you guys are doing. I'm gonna tell you guys what I've been doing. A little talky talk. I will keep my do-rag on this whole time because I'm having a little Wayne situation going on under here like I was saying I don't mind looking crusty and dusty it's just some days you just you just need to remind yourself that you still got it or still have something I just need that reminder today because Lord knows I have been wearing pajamas like it is my job <laughs> like it's my duty okay I don't have any primer like I said my products are trash so uh, so what I typically do, I use a facial spray, uh, just to kind of like, I guess, warm up my face. I don't know, I, this, I don't know, I don't know. So let's just start with the foundation, baby. So I guess I can let you guys know what I've been doing during my quarantining, quarantining. Like I told you guys a few videos back, I had the opportunity to work from home, which is a super major blessing that I don't take for granted and I don't take lightly. Um, I've been working on a lot of personal development because like I said, me staying home isn't anything different. However, having all this time to like really focus on myself and like, I'm not going in to work every day. You know, that takes time surprisingly, like to get up, get ready, drive to work, be at work for eight hours. You're essentially losing eight hours of your day at your job. So due to the fact that I'm working from home, there's other things that I can take care of while working, which has been a uber blessing. I've been eating breakfast every day. I've been getting my meals in, following a meal prep plan. Like I just really, I'm loving this time that I have to do this stuff. It's really a crappy time. This virus is no joke. And um, it's really affecting all of us in different ways. I think that's why, even though um, I have all this time, I think that's why I haven't been focused on making any videos because I just wasn't mentally there. It's really hard to figure out entertaining ideas when the world is suffering. But I think the reason why I'm trying to do this now is because like I said, I wanna put on some makeup. But I also just wanna keep that positivity train going. You know, it's so much stuff going on. For me to stay in like a positive space, I need to do things that keep me positive and doing YouTube definitely keeps me positive. I've kind of been focusing on is trying to figure out how can I capitalize on engagement um, via social media and my YouTube page. Yeah, I've been really enjoying finding new techniques and new ways. So yeah, that's what I've been doing and also the regular smuggler stuff like watching TV. I've been catching up on all the movies that I've been wanting to watch. All stuff that's been in my watch list. So it's pretty exciting. I mean, can anything really exciting happen while you're at home? Um, with that being said, when it's time for me to go to work, my physical job, honey, it is going to be a situation. Um, I don't typically do contour, but I'm like, why not? I ain't got nothing else to do today. It's typically a very harsh look for me, so I try not to do it, especially if I'm just, you know, going somewhere that doesn't require me to be beat for the balls. I don't think I hit that, that indent in my cheek right, but we're gonna make it work. I am not a makeup artist whatsoever, so if you see something that you don't agree with or, you know, you think it's wrong, charge it to my head, not my heart. I am not a makeup guru. I'm just trying to do my best. But back to what I was saying about going back to work, it is gonna be really hard. Like I said, I go to work every now and then when it, uh, they need me to do something. And for some reason, when I go back in, I go back to all those bad habits 
habit of not eating well, rushing to get up, all the stuff that I've been trying to work on during this quarantine. So I'm thinking work is a trigger for me. I don't know how accurate that is. It might just be my pure laziness. Oh, this don't look good. This don't look good at all. I feel like I'm gonna look really ashy by the end of this video. Ew. Oh my gosh, it doesn't look good. It looks good on camera. But yeah, I just feel like this time has shown me what it feels like to be like a full-time YouTuber, like a full-time influencer. And I'm kind of sad because I'm getting really adapted to it and I know it's temporary, super temporary. So I don't know, I just feel like that week before I go back to my physical job, I'm gonna be like, um, somebody, a co-worker of mine, she came and she's like, oh my gosh, I miss the office. I was like, sis, that ain't me. That is not my lifestyle. That is not my ministry. I do not miss it. I think for the most part, I just don't miss the, the commute and having to go in. So for those who do not know, I don't do my eyebrows for the most part. I just razor them when they get kind of weird and I pluck and I'm really enjoying the shape but for some reason like when I'm like a week out from my period um they just act stupid like I feel like my eyebrows fall out like a week before my period I don't know if that's like a PMS thing or whatever but it's not cute and it's pretty disrespectful oh dang I forgot to do a before and after it's so funny because I do like I talk to myself a lot when I do my makeup as if like I'm doing a YouTube video and I have so much to say when you know I'm doing that but when I get in front of a camera I just freeze up how you gonna do this for a living and you're uncomfortable in front of a camera I use eyeshadow for my eyebrows because my eyebrow pencil is literally a nub and I lost my brow pomade and um, it makes my eyebrows look really I look terrible <laughs> let me find out I'm doing this to make myself feel better and less crusty and dusty and then I'm gonna feel worse like that's gonna be a real situation Let's let's get to the next topic. Um, I'm looking at myself in the path line. I look like my eyebrow burned off. I don't know about y'all, but I am so freaking tired of TikTok. Uh, like as a creator, I feel like it's my job to stay up on trends and like be up to date with social media and stay on all platforms. But I just cannot get I love the fact that there are TikTok creators who are really, really creative and actually you know, they do skits, they do stuff that you typically don't see. C cool edits, basically. I love them. However, I just can't get with these dances and these stupid challenges and stuff. It's like, it's one thing when you f the first person does it, it's really cute. It's like, oh, cool. But then when you see like 50 other people doing the same exact thing and it's like slightly less put together, it's just like, come on, y'all. We get it. We get it. And then I just feel like people are just so bored. You know, they just want to have a little fun or whatever. But I'm just like, you don't have to post it. I don't know. That's really, I feel like that's really mean to say. And um, I'm probably saying that because I've seen probably 3,000 TikToks of people doing this like all day. But I just feel like, y'all, we get it. We get it. But what we don't get is why my eyebrows are not giving me life right now. This is typically my favorite part. All right, y'all. We probably I think I'm back on track with how my makeup typically goes. But I want some new products. Like, it's drying out my skin. Because I think because they're old. And that make, probably makes me sound extremely dirty and gross. But, yeah. Once we get released and everything opens back up, I might have to make a quick trip to Ulta and just restock. Like, I just want to throw everything away. I also want to talk about um, my concerns about this pandemic. And I'm not sure if you guys had the same concerns. Maybe you can let me know in the comments below. But I think the scariest part about this whole situation is that we just don't know how it's going to end. I feel like every day it's new information. Every day it's something that they just now discovered about the virus. Every day it's like a new way to prevent it or a new way to protect yourself against you know contracting it or whatever and I think that's for me it's frustrating but it's also understandable because it's like this is a new virus well a new strand that they just don't they're learning about it just as much as we are learning about it I think that's probably the most frustrating part about this time is just you just we just don't know it's really scary to see the numbers and just seeing how this thing has really just kind of just skyrocketed i'm just hoping that this thing turns around they keep saying that um we have to adjust to this new normal and i'm like how normal is this going to be like is, is this a period or this is something we're going to face for years is this something that's going to happen every season like but yeah y'all tell me how y'all feel about it 
try to take it one day at a time and just really keep my faith in God, of course. Pray about pray about all my concerns just so I can have peace. Still wake up with some type of joy. Um, trying to think what I want to do next because I'm not feeling this. I think I'm going to give myself another layer of foundation because why not? Who cares? I'm going to try to practice up. This makeup looks terrible. Uh, I just can't believe I, I'm not feeling myself. I did this so I can feel myself and I'm not feeling myself. At all. I guess I'm gonna go in with some blush. I feel like this ain't gonna work either because this blush is half dead. But I'm gonna stay happy. I'm gonna stay happy. I guess the last thing I can talk about is quarantine shaming. I, I'm not sure if that's an actual thing. Oh my gosh, it looks, I look like the clown. I don't even care anymore, whatever. I don't, I don't, this is, I'm just doing this for the day. I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm not even, I'm not gonna make it look worse. Girl, I don't even care anymore. Whatever. Everybody is dealing with this in their own specific way. The route that I'm taking is personal development because I need it, number one, and I've been super laxed on it, I guess. I have nothing but time, so I'm trying to take advantage of it while I can. So that's the space I'm in, but y'all, please do not tell other people what they should be doing during this time. Everybody's stressed, everybody's on high alert, everybody's trying to protect their family, everybody's trying to get money, everybody's trying to do what they need to do to survive. No, the last thing people want to hear is what they should have done better or what they need to do. And I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I just feel like let people deal with this the way they want to deal with it. Now, if they come to you and say, oh, I would love to have some advice on like certain things or like on how I, what I should do during this time, leave it to them to go research that. Don't try to make people feel bad because they're not, you know, exercising every day. Oh my gosh, I look like, I look like... I don't even know what I look like. This is straight, oh my gosh. I look like, oh my gosh. But yeah, um, don't try to shame people because they're not doing what you're doing and they don't want to do what you do. Personally, I haven't had that, that much, but I've seen I've been seeing post after post about learn a new language, read a book. Maybe I just want to sit in my bed and sulk. What if I'd want to be sad today? Like, let me let me be me. Let me do me. Now, if I go on, online and say, oh my gosh, can y'all please give me some ways to take advantage of this time? Then you can go in and say, oh, you should do X, Y, and Z. But all these little, you know, mysterious type posts, like, which I need to do. No, that's what you need to do, and that's what you're doing. Good for you, but other people don't want to do that. And I just realized I missed a step. Y'all, this is just... I'm not trying to be negative, but this ain't it. This ain't it. Maybe in the future, get ready with me. My future segments of crusty and dusty to crispy and delicious. I can actually get crispy and delicious because right now I'm feeling disgusted. Like, I look like I'm sick. Like, I don't think I've ever been this off on my makeup. This is the product. I gotta be the product. Maybe I'm just tired. Maybe I'm sleepy. I don't know. So, I guess the next time you guys see me, I'm gonna be fully done. Hopefully, fully done. And um, I don't know what that's gonna look like, but. This is the look, y'all. And I'm not feeling it at all. I just feel like a tomato. I'm gonna finalize this video by saying everything's getting thrown out. All that makeup is gone. I am done with it. It has lived its life. I look a hot mess. I wanted to take pictures today. I wanted to get some content for Instagram. Now I feel like all of that is going to be destroyed. I'm ready to wash this stuff off right now. However, what I really want to end this video off with is basically saying, you guys, stay positive. God is in control. Thank you to all the frontline workers, everybody who's working on this thing, from the nurses to the doctors to the scientists to people who are doing the research. Thank you for all that you're doing in this time. Thank you for everybody that's donating, especially if you have it. And just thank you for, to the people who are staying positive and trying to push out positive content every we all need some encouraging words during this time and this is going to be a very interesting part of our lives to look back on once we do move forward and i'm looking forward to that but yeah thank you guys for watching if you're watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video hopefully not looking like this because i just look like i look like some my dog just died like i feel like i mean i'm wearing black and stuff i look like i look like i'm Make jail makeup this is what I, yeah this is what i feel like i feel like i serve time in jail and i'm just trying to do a look with everything that i have like this is literally kool-aid makeup on my face right now